What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Rome back with another video. Before we get started, if you're new to the platform, please subscribe. OGs, oh, I appreciate the love and support. Make sure y'all hit that bell notification, that way y'all know what I'm uploading, and hit the like button because that's with the algorithm. It helps me reach a broader audience. Also, if you like the music that you hear, the Distro Kid link is in the description. Support your boy, support the music on the road to 25K subs. Let's get it. All right, so another um, subscriber suggestion. Um, they've been asking me to do a reaction to African women and when you ask, you shall receive. At least I tried to anyway, man. Um, like I said, man, got a lot of guys sending me content ideas. Nobody actually sent me this. I actually had to go digging for this myself. Fortunately, I came across a content creator that some of y'all are familiar with. Um, I believe it's uh, Cooper's Corner, um, YouTube Traveler, and he seems to be um, morally focused on um, going like the um, African countries, and I think he's been like to some Latin countries as well, and, and in the islands also. Okay, so we're gonna see what the 411 is, alright? So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into it. The right. question that people clicked on this video for, uh -huh. how do you feel about African American guys? Um, to be honest, I haven't interacted with so many apart from you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and I feel like you guys are typically us from your color. Uh -huh. I wouldn't tell you you're not from Kenya. Ah. You speak. With that, I feel like I would connect more with a black American compared to a white person. Man. <laughs> there's familiarity. You feel exactly. familiar. Exactly. And it feels like there's a connection between you two even before you're born and stuff like that. So exactly. So basically what you're saying is just off of the way that we look, you would feel more comfortable than talking to somebody who doesn't really look like you. Yeah. That makes sense. I think that's like a human thing, which is why like I wanted to ask her that question. How do you Okay. Hmm. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I wasn't really expecting that. Um, I've heard some African women say negative things. I've heard some African women say positive things. Um, that answer, I'm a little surprised by. Uh, I'm, I, I, yeah. Yeah, I was expecting something like to be a little bit more controversial. But I will say this though, I agree. Because, well, not a hundred percent. Because if I was to, because let's be honest, if I was to see her in the states, looking the way she looks and dressing the way she dressed, before she would even speak, I don't, I don't know what it is, man. Maybe we recognize that a little bit different here, but I think I would be able to tell right away that she wasn't American. Because I've seen and met African women before. I can usually tell right off the bat. Like, they just got a different vibe to them. I don't know what it is. Y'all let me know what y'all think about that. Let's keep it moving. You view us when you see us on, like, TV. Say you see, like, a rapper or, like, an athlete. How do you view black Americans that way? I feel like you guys, um, you're just Africans, but then you're just living in America. Really? That's how you yeah. was for real? Okay, yeah, you was there. It makes us feel like now the Africans are not yet recognized. Uh -huh. But we're gonna get there sometime. Like you're representing That's how you us. Feel about it representing us in greater heights and we're gonna get there one time. So okay. It's, That's dope. It's adorable maybe. I'd say that but it's a good thing. It's not plus it's cool to have black people known and it's just not all about white guys. That like made me feel good guys. That was nice. <laughs> Let's talk about you win! Hmm. You know what? I never really thought that they would look at us that way. So, and, well, I mean, and this is just her opinion, but that's an interesting take. She looks at us as Africans that are just based out of America and just, like, and she just likes the fact that there are black people out there that are well-known and, you know, to the masses. 
that's a very that's a very positive way of looking at it i'm like hmm once again i'm like uh, another surprising um answer interesting let's keep it moving something fun so i don't know like you saw my story time video but i ate like the wrong food and it like messed my stomach up <laughs> I don't even want to talk Wait, about Wait, let's talk about that face. Uh, what do you think about African girls? We were switching it up, so she asked me. I've been to Kenya. What do you think about Kenyan girls? Okay, that's a, that's a very good question. Mm -hmm. So, Kenyan girls are beautiful. They're different, though, than American girls. Like hold on, hold on. She from Kenya? My baby from Black Panther from Kenya? And... Y'all just don't know, man. I'm like, when I saw the first Black Panther movie and I saw her, I was like, Shit. Damn! All right, my, my bad, y'all. Let, let, let me stop. Let's continue. Like American girls, but like different doesn't mean bad. Yeah. They just do their own thing, like the Kenyan <laughs> eyebrows. Oh, what do you mean the Kenyan eyebrows? Kenyan eyebrows, so like if I asked you, like, do you like pizza in? Like, yeah. Some Kenyan girls want to say, yeah, they just be like. <laughs> That's the Kenyan eyebrow. Oh, okay. Have you like seen that before? <laughs> it's just, I'm telling you, man. I'm like, like it's just, it's just the eyebrows start to going, man. I'm telling you. Yeah, just like that, yeah. And I mean, but everything else is pretty much, y'all just black girls, man. Like, and like, I love black girls, so it's not like a, it's not a bad thing, you know what I mean? Yeah. All right. So, interesting take. You know what? This does make me wonder, man. Um, and y'all let me know what y'all think in the com in, in, in the comments. Do you think because we look we look so much alike? Because you got to keep in mind, there's black people in Latin America also, or, or even the islands. But do you think that it would be an easier transition? To deal with an African woman, even though she has a far different culture than what we do in American society, that's my question for you guys that's watching. Because I know a lot of guys been asking for me to react to um, anything in regards to African women, and y'all know, you know, the particular areas that I want to go to off the top of my head: Ethiopia, um, Morocco, South Africa and Somalia to some degree. But good Lord, if the women in Kenya look anything like her, I need to go to Kenya. I might have to go to Kenya. Like this woman is beautiful, bro. I ain't even gonna hold you. And for the black women that's watching, this is, don't get me wrong. Like, yeah, the, the, the lipstick is, you know what I mean? But as far as me personally, when it comes to black women and, and the hair, I'm not a fan of the weaves and the hair helmets. But what she rocking right here, like to me, that just that's that natural African vibe. You feel me? Like, I'm digging that, man. Or some dreads. I wish black women, Amer I wish a, American black women would look at African women. So that way they can get a better understanding of what their natural beauty really looks like. Because it seems like some of the most beautiful black women I've ever seen have always been from the motherland. Like straight from the motherland. I'm like, man, that cannot be a coincidence, bro. I'm sorry, it can't. I mean, it's beautiful black women in the States, man. But, dude, the ones from Africa, they just different. They just different. Um, anybody that's been to Africa dealing with African women, I think I know a few people that watch me. I think they married to African women. Please let me know in the comments your experience. Um, if you want to reach out to my email, we can do an interview, go live, whatever the case may be, man. Cause I, I definitely will want to get more insight. I'm like, e Egypt is already on my list because I got to see the pyramids. I got to see the pyramids. But I'm like, but I would love to go to Africa. You know what I mean? Just to get, you know, more feel for the culture, man. Maybe learn some history, you know. Especially Ethiopia because Ethiopia is supposed to be like the cradle of the, um, 
do they call it the cradle of the world or the cradle of life i'm not sure correct me in, in the comments if i'm wrong about it. it's the cradle of something i can't think of it off the top of my head um but yeah please let me know what y'all think about this all right if you're new to the platform please subscribe oh geez i appreciate the love and support make sure y'all hitting that bell notification that way y'all know what i'm uploading and hit the like button because it helps with the algorithm it helps me reach a broader audience until the next video y'all deuces